Fargo Famous. I'm Conrad Fargo. This is the Fargo Five. We're here with Josh Soul. Hello, Josh. Hi, how's it going? Josh, you're here with Elevate Consulting as well as One Plan Fitness. Yeah, absolutely. Now, One Plan Fitness was your first business that you ever made. Yeah, we started here uh, probably right around three years ago, uh, training people to, to reach their fitness goals completely online. Now, I, I met you uh, through the Chamber Young Professionals Network. Yes. Yep. You're now, <laughs> they say anybody can join. Uh, the Chamber is pretty cool that way. So I'm a 37-year-old man. They let me pretend to be young, and that's how I met you. I, to be fair, I was 36 when I joined. Um, you are much younger than that. Yeah, I'm uh, 31 now. 31. Oh, okay. Which is still very young. So your first business was at 28 years old. Yep, absolutely. And are you fr- you're born and raised in Fargo, North Dakota? Yeah, I grew up in the area, um, Dilworth, and then moved to Fargo for college and stayed on this side of the river. So you uh, you're a, you're a rebel. Yes, I you am. You went to DGF, huh? Yep. Very cool. Yeah, I don't think definitely people know Fargo, maybe Fargo, Moorhead, the cities, but then Dilworth is like this little suburb right on the outside there. Yeah, it's just smaller Moorhead on the outside of Moorhead. Smaller you know? <laughs> Moorhead, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lived there for a little while. I was a rebel for like one year. Um, so you, you graduated, you went to college, where did you say, at MSU? Uh, NDSU. NDSU, okay. Yep. What did you go to school for? Uh, I actually graduated a degree in psychology. That's right, you've mentioned that before. <laughs> yeah. And that comes in handy. So what you do... Why don't you explain what you do? Like, because you, you do so many things. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, you know, I'm one that likes to fill the calendar uh, with one plan. Obviously, training people to get their goals. A lot of that is mental and and getting them on that. But um, with Elevate, uh, I do business consulting, and really, a lot of it is just kind of understanding the why, the how, and and really getting through to people on a, a personal level. So, one psychology is definitely going to come in handy with that. Yeah, definitely. When you when when did you graduate? Uh, I graduated in 2013. In the very end. How how old were you? I'm try to I'm want to try to do trying to build the timeline that way. Yeah, okay. Something like that. So you graduated and then it was 6 years before you decided to build your own business with one plan. Yep. yep. So what did you re- what were you doing in those 6 years between there? Um well throughout college and then for those about 6 years after and and even a little bit into my first business, I was working in uh food service industry managing large companies and um you know succession planning and dealing with people <laughs> and it was food service the whole time that you were there doing in, yeah. the, in the middle and upper upper management stuff yeah i mean i was one guy that always had two or three jobs so now it makes sense to have two companies now elevate consulting you do a lot of work for consulting for restaurants i mean that's if if i were to say and i know you pretty well we spend every friday we do small business connect together we do business and beers together you and i spend a lot of time together i was going to say if uh, or I would say, if there's somewhere that you really own the space, it would be in restaurants. I mean, I would that be a fair? Uh... Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, you know, do a large focus on marketing, but if you want the full gamut of help, uh, restaurants is the place that's just that's my playground. You just have a ton of experience in that. Well, you know, and <laughs> I feel like specialities choose you; you don't choose them, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> like some somehow. Um, so all the homes I've bought and have had problems with cats. I didn't choose that, but but if you need somebody who knows how to deal with a cat problem, unfortunately, like that's just where where I live. Uh, so, but restaurants seem to be you know something you have a lot of, uh, if not passion, at least uh, definitely expertise in. In those six years, though, uh, what made you decide to do one plan fitness? Because Elevate Consulting, I feel like focused a lot on the restaurants, but how did you how did you go? back to the restaurants or how did how did that all come about yeah so um you know been in the fitness space ever since high school um did powerlifting and uh still know a lot of guys that compete in powerlifting bodybuilding competitions that i talked to um so just kind of always had a passion for it and you know while i was still managing a four restaurant chain i was like well i want to start helping people reach fitness goals i want to do something purposeful that's really great. So One Plan Fitness, tell me more more about that. So you don't have a storefront or anything like that. It's more of a service or what? How would you describe One Plan? Yeah, so uh, we, we do everything all online. Um, there is a couple of places in Fargo that we do classes at. Um, like we do a class every Monday throughout the rest of the year that's hosted that Daily Dose on uh, 5.30 at night. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today, right? Yeah, is that, that's the Shake Up, Shake Down. That's going to be the Fargo Fun. That'll be coming. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we do a couple little things 
in the local Fargo area, but a lot of it's online because that way it's accessible for our clients at any time whenever they're ready for it. And what, so what was it like when you decided to start One Plan Fitness? Where did you even, where do you start? Like you just woke up one day or you were always in the space, you were very passionate about it and you just woke up and you're like, I'm going to start a business or how did that even, where did you start? Where did you begin? When did you get the thread? Yeah, I mean, it started as a, a passion project working with, um, you know, a lot of people in the industry that said, hey, we want to get fit. And I was like, well, I'll help. And just kind of evolved from there. It was one of those things you do what you're passionate about and eventually it becomes a business. That's very cool. Well, we are going to go to our first music break. We've got are you much of a music. I, mean, I don't think we've ever talked about music. All these we spend a lot of time. I'm really into music. I don't even know that. Uh, do you a big music guy or what kind of? I listen to all kinds of music, so it's always hard to have that discussion because they're like, "Oh yeah, but what really?" And I'm like, "No, literally everything." All right, so. all right. Well, we're gonna listen to Ski Whiff. You ever heard of them? I haven't heard of Ski Whiff. Ski Whiff and their song "Little Spot of Soul." There you go. Little Spot of Soul, uh, and then we will be back with Fargo Fun. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> 